And here we are. Two minutes and 45 seconds to go. Hopefully audio sounding good today. Hi to David Lewis, Daft Cat Brewing in there. Thanks for joining the community. Martina, hi to you. Nice to have you there. David's there, David Silk. Caddo, Rovigo55, Joe Slami. Really good to have you in the chat so far. And thank you, early arrivals. I can see you there watching the YouTube stream. Going live very soon. How's your day today? Anyone here got a podcast or starting a podcast? If that's you, post in the comments now. Tell me about your podcast. Either the podcast that's already running or the podcast that is an idea in your mind. Let me know in the comments right now. What are you podcasting about? Michael Duffy's there. Good morning to you. Jason Arnold, hey, good to see you from the East Coast US. Where it is nine in the morning, I'm tempted to say. Good morning. Sounding nice and clean, that's what I like to hear. Crispy, says John Rogers. Michał, dzień dobry. From Poland, lovely to have you there. Jak się masz? Isabella's in the comments as well. She's moderating. She's got her spanner ready to wield it on anyone who steps out of line. <laughs> uh, she's usually good. And she can speak Polish. Carrie sheds in. Thinking about starting a podcast. Anyone else thinking of starting a podcast? Let me know. And welcome to the live show. It is good to be here on what you could call possibly a live podcast. I am Mike Russell. I'm a podcaster since 2012. Uh, before that, I worked on the radio. I was in radio since, oh, crikey, about 1995. Uh, so, yeah, when it all started with hospital radio uh, and then progressed through to the locals and then the nationals. And then I went to Australia and did a breakfast show in Australia. Uh, and finally, then I saw the light. Oh, and I came to uh, podcasting because it's, it's like this behind me. It's global. It's like literally everywhere in the world is listening to you and downloading you. Uh, uh, whether you're in iTunes, in Stitcher, hopefully you're in all the good podcast directories. So this show is going to focus on exactly how to create a great podcast in Adobe Audition. We'll also cover uh, not only the, the process of like creating a template, uh, sticking your audio in, making it sound good, mixing it down, making sure you're meeting the right loudness standards so you don't deafen your listener or so they don't turn your podcast up because it's really quiet and then they get to the next podcast and they're like, ah! So uh, yeah, we'll learn all of that. We'll look at EQ settings, uh, the single band compressor in Adobe Audition that I I don't think gets a lot of love. We'll get lots of love today. Uh, we'll look at the speech volume leveler. That's a good one for podcasters. Maybe a bit of sound removal as well for the sibilance. And um, we're also going to look at um, remixing uh, music beds. So, um, oh, and I didn't even tell you the main thing, making a podcast intro. We'll, we'll try and cover that. There's a lot to squeeze into this hour, as you can tell. Uh, but sometimes you get your podcast intros made professionally. And uh, I'm, it's, it's no secret that at Music Radio Creative, that's one of the uh, services we provide. Um, well, sometimes you get it with the intro bit where the voiceover artist talks and then you get a music bed which you can then fade down on your mixing desk and start talking over it or whatever like that um well i'll show you how to extend it and remix it in audition so if you want your intro bed to be two minutes long uh really great feature there 
Also, we're going to play with Skype today. Uh, so uh, I will invite you to call in on Skype. Uh, just a quick mention, by the way, I do mention comments every 15 minutes during the show. So going to get straight into the content. And then uh, in about ooh, 13 minutes, I'll mention the first set of comments coming in on YouTube, on Facebook and on Twitch. It's really nice to have Twitch viewers, by the way, uh, starting to build an audience over on that platform. Uh, so we'll get to all that very soon. Um, but yes, we're looking at Skype. Uh, we're looking at another cool app for the iPad that I think is really cool. I think it's on Android too, uh, but we'll look at that later in the show too and I'll give you some links out. Uh, and loudness, limiting, compression, all that kind of good stuff uh, can be expected in this session. So you can expect a lot of podcasting goodness. And I'd like to know in the comments, by the way, if you are starting or have started a podcast and what is it about, uh, do a little elevator pitch, please, in the comments and uh, I'll read some of, the, uh, some of the good comments out in the show today. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's very, very exciting stuff. Um, just to mention right now, I, this Skype thing is going to be an experiment uh, later in the show. So I've got something kind of plumbed into my mixing desk, which actually I can show you. Look, look at this. If I go to screen share mode, uh, you will actually see that my mixing desk is over there on the screen over there. See it? It's over there. Wow, that's just amazing. So you can actually see a picture of my mixing desk and you can see in real time, that is my hand. That's my giant hand there on the mixing desk. So I'm going to do a few little bits with the mixing desk and you'll be able to see in real time. I can switch that on and off so I can get rid of it, obviously, when we go into audition. But uh, like if I fade the microphone down like that, you'll hear I go a lot quieter and a lot louder. So that is my mixing desk and we'll be looking at that. And you can obviously see Skype is loaded right now on the iPad. So, yes, if you would like to take part in my Skype experiment, and I'd love you to, um, I need you to add Music Radio Creative, okay? The Skype user ID, Music Radio Creative. Uh, this will not be, I think I'm probably going to create a new ID, especially for the show, because that's usually that's our Skype ID for dealing with customer service. But at the moment, I do have it loaded on the iPad here, and I'm going to do a test call. I'll put someone live. You're live on the air uh, very soon during the show. Uh, so if that's you, if you're interested, add Music Radio Creative to your Skype contacts. Uh, and yeah, and we'll go from there. Maybe uh, maybe in about 30 minutes or so, we'll, we'll try and look at some of the, uh, the Skype uh, calls that are... Uh, I'll just take maybe one call just to test it out and uh, maybe show you some mix minus and stuff like that and recording clean channels of, of Skype and things like that. So, uh, right, just before we get into the show, uh, it's been very busy over at the Music Radio Creative community uh, and you can reach it by going to mrc.fm slash community. That is mrc.fm slash community. I know Isabella will post the link. Sometimes I post links too. Uh, it's getting very, very busy. I did take a look at it after the show yesterday. Um, but I haven't been on uh, replying to comments uh, since yesterday afternoon. So there's been a ton of, of new posts since I last took a look. And after the show today, I will go through the posts and... Um and do some replies. Uh, and of course, any, any posts you make today, I might shout them out uh, on the show today. So that's all for now. Let's get into Adobe Audition and let's take a look at what we can do here with Adobe Audition for our podcasting goodness. Well, first of all, templates are a huge thing, right, in Adobe Audition. You know about my, or you, maybe you don't know about my Music Radio Creative presets that I use to design audio every day. Uh, so let's, well, why not start a new multi-track session here and we'll call it Podcast Intro podcast intro. And then I'm going to use my MRC templates. Uh, these are available to buy, by the way, at mrc.fm slash presets. Uh, all the presets uh, for processing your voice correctly, matching levels of volume, adding cool EQ and chorus, uh, processing your music, auto ducking it, adding in sound effects as well, and a big voice bu effects bus in there as well uh, to use. So I'm going to use this one to create a podcast intro in a second. And then I'm going to create a new multi-track session. I'm going to call this one podcast podcasting template and I'm going to go for actually do you know Adobe are so good they give us a podcast template here um, which you can adapt and change for your own podcast so if I select this one of the things you'll notice uh, straight away is the difference between the MRC template uh, MRC template is bit depth of 32 32 bit because we work in 32 bit floating point and the reason for that is to uh, well it's it's uh, just a great bit depth, but also we avoid things like clipping and things like that. Um, so very important. But when you're podcasting and mixing down and uploading to some media hosts, sometimes not all of them are a fan of 32 bit. Uh, so we find 16 bits tends to work quite well. And the podcast template is preloaded with that. 
So here we go now on the screen. That looks a lot different to my uh, my presets that I've got here in podcast intro. I've got a lot more tracks. Um, but here you've got like a track for the host, you've got a track for the interview, a track for sound effects, uh, a track for a music bed, and an overall master track. And if you go into the effects rack here, you'll actually see that preloaded uh, on some of the channels, I believe, Oh, if I click into track effects, you'll see there's a hard limiter on the music bed to kind of, let's see what that's doing actually, digging into that. Uh, that is, aha, uh -huh, okay. So it's making sure the music bed doesn't, excuse me, go above uh, minus 0.1 dB. It's actually very light limiting there. It's not really doing much more than clipping anything that's going into the distortion zone on there. Sound effects, uh, we've got some dynamics processing here, uh, which is a nice, ooh, a nice uh, soft knee compressor there uh, to just bring out the best in your sound effects. And a bit of EQ rolling on treble and rolling on bass which we kind of like for sound effects, so it make them sound really good. Uh, on the interview channel, we got the speech volume leveler that I rave about. I think this thing is fantastic. Uh, I use it in my chain at Music Radio Creative for producing uh, voiceovers and jingles as well, uh, because it's kind of a two-in-one effect, this speech volume leveler. Um, and maybe I can show you, actually, over in the waveform view what it's doing. I think you'll find, yeah, that's also on the host channel as well. Same settings there. So what it does, it has uh, built in a little bit of noise reduction, a little bit of compression, and a little bit of noise gating. This is me. Oh, hang on, I've got a different input. Yeah, I was messing about with my inputs. Actually, that's the Heil. I wonder whether I can bring the Heil PR40 interview over here. So this is, this is a real podcaster's mic, this one. This is what all the podcasters buy. It's the Heil PR40. It's like podcasting liquid gold here. Uh, so this is not, uh, this is a different mic, um, but I've got it set up in my inputs in Audition. Adobe Audition preferences, uh, audio channel mapping. And I think I did something funky. Yes, I'm using the Soundcraft Signature 12 MTK, which is this mixing desk right here, um, to take my inputs. And what this does, because I've got that assigned as analog one, this is fader one. Hang on, if I just fade this down. And, oh, whoa, and fade that up. Sorry, I didn't mean to. <laughs> Actually, how does that sound to you? Does that sound, um, does that sound okay? Or does that sound distorted, apart from the initial thing? Let me know in the comments, um, because I don't know if this sounds better than... That's my mic that I'm using now. And that's my Heil PR40. Which one do you think sounds better? Anyway, I'll, keep to, I'll stick to the one I usually use, but I'll speak into the Heil, um, and I'll assign now, in my preferences audio channel mapping, I want to make sure I've got analog one on both, because uh, it's a mono channel that I'm using to record. Uh, sorry for distorting your ears there. Um, and we'll say, hello, welcome to the podcast episode. I'm Mike Russell, and it's lovely to have you here with us on the show today. We're going to be covering all kinds of things like how to make podcast intros and much, much more. Okay, no to the Heil. Goodbye, Heil. That was just to, to record my, my sort of uh, mock podcast. Uh, and let's play that back. Should sound okay now. Hello, welcome to the podcast episode. That audio quality should be good. And what it's doing, because you notice I didn't have this fader open, I didn't have the fader one open for the Heil PR40, but the Soundcraft uh, Signature 12 MTK actually will tap your audio channels on the mixing desk at source. So that's kind of a good thing and a bad thing because you can directly put stuff into your computer without opening faders, but it's a, a roll off below 100, yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's a bad thing because it means none of the EQ or anything that I've set up there is actually getting recorded into Adobe Audition. Uh, but now let's play with the speech volume leveler on this. Uh, get rid of the, the view of my mixing desk for the moment and I'll show you how this works. Let's go into the preview window and we'll take a look at speech volume leveling on here. One of the, the core components to making a good sounding podcast. So effects, amplitude and compression, uh, speech volume leveler, maybe the first thing we'll have a play with. Let's put it to default. And uh, so we can see here a target volume level of minus 12 dB. Obviously, if we take that down, it's going to get quieter in the preview window, as you can see. And if we take that up, it's going to get a little bit louder. And also it's doing a bit more uh, compression there as well because of the, the way the, the volume is, is hitting a certain threshold. Uh, target dynamic range. Now, uh, the higher we bring this, 
the more kind of noise reduction it's doing, uh, so it's kind of cutting out any any background noise that's interfering. Uh, but the lower we bring it, the more it's going to compress your voice. But obviously that that compression is affecting this bit that is silent in the original. And then we've got all oh, horrible mouthy clicks there. Uh, so yeah, you have to toss up whether you want like a nice quiet uh, sound. So find somewhere that works for you and your recording environment that offers enough compression on the voice. Hello, welcome to the podcast episode. And then take it off. Hello, welcome to the podcast episode. A little quieter, a little more dynamic range. And that's not all in the speech volume leveler. At a first glance, this looks like, and let's uh, let's really zoom in on it, this looks like it's just a kind of three-fader three, uh, three fader trick here in Audition. Uh, you can also boost the low signals. I wouldn't advise that for uh, podcasting. Uh, it's more for, like, imaging if you want to kind of, like, bump up the bass. Uh, but it's also got an advanced drop down here. And yes, hidden away inside the speech volume leveler, this is kind of trying to be a jack of all trades for you as a podcaster. It offers you a compressor and a noise gate. So let's add these uh, and you can see what it's doing. Hang on, let's switch that off again. Now, if you see I switch it off, subtle changes, but compressor on down to a threshold of minus 9 dB. And you see how that really affects the audio, crushes it down even more with it off. It looks like that. And with it on, it looks like that. So with a decent microphone and Adobe Audition, you can make your voice sound at a constant volume all the time, which is so important. I can't stress how important it is to get that. Hello, welcome to the podcast episode. So that's how it sounds with everything on so far. And then off. Hello, welcome to the podcast episode. And you can hear that I'm definitely getting quieter as I talk. Hello, welcome to the podcast episode. And then a noise gate uh, will simply, the, the, the higher you set this, the more noise it's going to reduce. Take it off and it does the inverse. I mean, to be honest, there's not much noise there to change. There's a little bit you can see happening around here that is being reduced. Um, if we were to move this down a bit and this down a bit, we'd see more noise appearing like that. Let's move the target dynamic range right down. See that noise? Now, if we increase the noise gate, that should counteract that a little bit. Yes, just a tiny bit. So again, it's kind of, it's almost like setting a chroma key uh, where you have to mess about with all different settings and kind of get them working in tandem. But that for me is a good speech volume leveler setting that we have now for our, our speaking. Hello, welcome to the podcast episode. Now, if I undo that, now that you've seen what I've done, this is something that you could later mimic in a podcast. Um, I'm going to pop this into the multi-track. Uh, into my podcast template, and I'm going to stick it into uh, podcast host here. So, hello, welcome to the podcast episode. Now, did you hear that bit of noise at the start? Hello, welcome to the podcast. Before the effect is kicking in, it's uh, it's dragging up all my external audio. So I'm going to do a, a little fade curve like this and actually tighten that up so we get this. Hello, welcome to the podcast episode. Okay, so we've got... Uh, your host voice there. Say we wanted to record into the multi-track and record multiple sources. If we've got an audio interface that can do that, I will show you that in just a moment. But first of all, um, I'll show you multiple sources into Adobe Audition and also podcast intro making. Let's get back to those beautiful comments that are happening right now during the live stream that I always appreciate from you, by the way. It's always really nice to, uh, to have some comments here. Let's see who's been commenting on the show so far. And uh, we've got Christopher in, as usual, from uh, New York City. It's 9 a.m. there. Uh, Davka is uh, producing uh, an episode of the podcast, first episode on homebrewing beer a week today. That's so cool. Uh, Walter Carter is in, 9 a.m. in Hinesville, Georgia. Uh, Caro Bell starting a podcast about podcasting, a very decent idea. David Lewis is in and he's getting ready to go on air tonight at Solar Radio and then we'll podcast the show tomorrow on Mixcloud and iTunes. How does Mixcloud work for you? It's not a platform I've, I've used much. We host our podcasts at Spreaker. By the way, an excellent host for podcasting. If you're thinking about getting up and running, Spreaker.com. We use them. Uh, we've met the team, really like Spreaker, so can't recommend it enough for hosting a certainly a spoken word podcast. 
WQA videos. We do a weekly podcast about water treatment. Wow, the Trade Association for Water Treatment. That's cool. Uh, what else? Uh, Ark Gore, some friends and me are starting a podcast for games we play, and I like to focus in quality, so trying to configure best setup for four people over a voice service to record. Oh, the next step could help you then in this uh, learning session. Thomas, finally managed to catch a live stream. Woohoo! Yay! That's a big thumbs up for you. Uh, what else have we got? If Yanni, uh, Mike, I think you're doing a good job. Thanks, Caddo, for plugging the, uh, the super chat. Always appreciated if you drop a super chat on YouTube, a way to support the show by making a real time donation in the chat box there. Uh, we've got, uh, who else have we got chatting away? Uh, Michael, really enjoying the presets, great value. Michael uh, has uh, purchased the uh, uh, Adobe Audition presets that I use to make jingles and, uh, and voiceovers and effects. Thank you, Michael, appreciate that. Uh, Mega Radio UK, I'm creating countdown timers in After Effects, nice. Uh, what else have we got? Obeyed, uh, it's good. Uh, what else have we got here? Tune in with Trish. Uh, Heil sounds like an announcer. Yes, there's quite a bit of EQ, and I'm using the DBX onboard limiter as well on my uh, my board for that. Leonardo, a bit late, but here I am. Ryan, I'm based in Philadelphia, and I'm starting the Poor Richards podcast in August. Hmm. I'm going to interview people from the Philadelphia business community. What a great idea, Ryan. I really like that. Um, how are you getting on with setting things up? Uh, have you got it all all worked out? Uh, asking me now, how do I like Blueberry as a hosting site? Mm. Blueberry do some good stuff. I, I know Todd Cochran from Blueberry, and uh, they sponsored one of our events before, actually. So uh, full disclaimer there. Yeah, I like Blueberry. I like the stuff they do. They're very on it, especially with new technology. I use their podcasting plugin in WordPress. It's called uh, PowerPress. And, uh, and that's really good because uh, it just does everything. If you don't know how to plumb in everything to your podcast, just set up PowerPress inside WordPress and, uh, and you, you'll have one of the things I know Todd always goes on about is having control of that RSS feed. Very important. Do not give it away to a third party service. Uh, make sure you're hosting it on your own uh, website domain. And uh, PowerPress enables you to do that. But I know also they're developing it out for the changes coming up this autumn for iOS 11, where you'll have podcast trailers and stuff like that. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just I feel confident using their plugin and uh, their, their hosting from what I understand. What I've heard from others is very good, too. Um, David just bought some PPL meters for my studio. Ooh, look at you. That's going back in time. I use Podbean to host. Not had an experience with Podbean, so uh, not sure on that. NZ Connor is in the chat. 1 a.m. in New Zealand, watching on Twitch today. So uh, very dedicated of you to be watching there. And thank you very much for that. So uh, let's have a look at how we can get now multiple inputs into our wonderful Adobe Audition here. If we're working in Adobe Audition, we want to get multiple inputs going in. And the way you can do this is instead of having, at the moment, it's got none for inputs here. Um, and if I want to make sure my inputs are set up correctly, I want to look at audio hardware. You can see I'm doing it in an interesting way because right here now, I have the Soundcraft Signature 12 MTK as my input, yet the output here is the Scarlett 2i2 USB. So it's playing out on my mixing desk to you on the stream, but I'm recording from source uh, on my uh, Soundcraft Signature 12. So now what I can do uh, is I can choose the inputs I want over here by choosing anything next to the right arrow going in. So say the host is on mono analog one, which I know I am, that's my Heil. Uh, I can then assign that there. And then for the interview, uh, I might have that on uh, let's say mono channel 11 and I don't know if anyone wants to do a Skype call but what I might try and do Isabella if you are able to log into Skype I am going to try for a second uh, to demonstrate this uh, so I'm just going to search for you on Skype and show my mixing desk here Isabella oh I don't know if we have uh, I don't know if we have you added to the music radio creative account so I'm going to add your uh, your account, see if I can find you and add you, and then call you from the Music Radio Creative account and see whether we can get you on. Hang on, I've, I've spelt your name incorrectly. So let's add this, and we'll add this as another input into Adobe Audition, and I'll show you how you could record uh, both inputs separately. So hopefully now I should find Isabella Russell. Hmm. 
Yes, your Skype. If you could add uh, music radio creative Skype and and call it, I will try and pick up that call and demonstrate how this would work in uh, Adobe Audition. So uh, we'll let Isabella call in. She's going to be on this channel here. That's where the iPad is plugged in. And then I've got my Heil, which is over here. And obviously this one, which is my microphone I'm talking into now. Hmm. Keep the comments coming in, by the way. You can do that uh, in the chat at YouTube, at Facebook Live, at Periscope, at Twitch. And I'll mention them every 15 minutes. So in another eight minutes, I'll get back to your comments. Any luck with that uh, getting in touch on Skype at all, Isabella? Or maybe I'll show how to punch in on this track. Oh, yes, here we go. OK, right. Hello. Speak to me. Can I hear anything? Anything at all? Let's try that one. Hello. Oh, I can hear you. Oh, I can speak back to you. I can hear you. You're very quiet. Let me turn you up. Hello, hello, hello. Talk to me. Hello, I'm talking to you. Nice. Excellent. Um, obviously, you're using your computer's internal microphone, so a little bit quiet there. Um, but we get the idea. Now, can you hear my audio perfectly at the moment? I can, yes. Good. And I think it might be using the iPad's internal microphone to speak to you. But let me try this. I think so. You think so? Yes, because you, yeah. can, you can hear it with an echo. Now, if we had a second computer in here, I could set up a mix minus, which I'll demonstrate. I, 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 hang on. <laughs> You're trying to get yourself a new computer. It's very yeah. naughty. <laughs> I am. Absolutely. Uh, so, but I can still demonstrate the principle very of it cheap. in just a moment. But let's, um, let's now punch in those tracks so we're recording them. Uh, first of all, my channel, which is The Heil. Uh, so let's go over here. Yes, hello, this is The Heil. OK, and now if I punch in your track, if you start talking, Isabella. I'm talking to you right now. My throat is not very good today, but I will keep talking. Hello. <laughs> so as you can well see there now, you can see my track moves when I speak and Isabella's track moves when she speaks. That's because it's two different inputs going in on each different track. Now, if I start recording, let's do this. And now a very special guest on this week's podcast. She has not been on the show live for such a long time, but I'm so pleased to welcome now back. She's huge in the world of audio and just an absolute leader in the space of leadership. Her name is Isabella Russell. Isabella Russell, welcome to the show. You really know how to butter me up, do you, Mark? <laughs> you really clearly want that new computer for the studio. Absolutely. And now you can see, as I'm recording this podcast in real time, my voice is appearing on the host track on track number one up there. And Isabella, who's talking back to me over Skype on another input on my audio interface or mixing desk, she is on uh, the interview track. Aren't you, Isabella? I am indeed. What a great track to be on. Interview. Woohoo! OK, Isabella, thank you so much for your valuable input. We've got a ton of value well, from you on the show today. When are you next going to be on? <laughs> Whenever you will invite me on. That's your show and you're very precious about it. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So I can do this now on the mixing desk. I can say thank you. Bye, 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 bye. And, and she's cut off and she's gone, just like in the days of radio. <laughs> OK, so let's stop that. And you can see now I've recorded in real time my podcast. And the coolest thing about recording this way in the multi-track as opposed to in waveform view is you get two separate tracks. This track is now called Host 001, and that is only my audio from the Heil microphone. Uh, none of Isabella. Possibly just what you see here is just some leak through from my, from my headphones being picked up by the microphone. Um, but it's not actually uh, any audio bleeding through from Skype there. And then over here, I have got only Isabella's input, which is fantastic. So if I play that back now. You really know how to butter me up. Firstly, you will notice straight away that Isabella is a lot quieter than I am here in the multi-track of this podcast that I'm producing. So how do we conquer that problem? It's a common problem in podcasting. You get someone on Skype or you have a host in another location. Uh, hopefully they're doing it the proper way that you're doing a double ender with them, which means you record your side, they record their side and only their side. And then they send their side over to you and then you mix it together kind of like this. One side of the conversation here, one side here, and then you mix them together. You kind of sync them up in the multi-track. Um, but often it's the case that the EQ and the volume is not the same. 
So the first thing I'd recommend is go into each individual stem you've recorded. Favorites, a very quick one here, normalize to minus 0.1 dB. And then over here into interview, and again, select it all, favorites, normalize to minus 0.1 uh, dB. Now this is doing nothing to the shape of the audio. This is simply saying, where is the peak uh, in this audio file? In that case, that, that crazy spike there is a peak and uh, it's making it up to 0.1 dB. So if I go into amplitude statistics and scan, you will see peak amplitude, look at that. It's, oh, you can't see it because I've got the mixing desk in the way. <laughs> Over there, it is uh, it is minus 0.1 dB. But unfortunately, and this is where we can do a little bit of Adobe magic here, or mic magic, let's call it mic magic because this is more EQ than, uh, than a really cool effect in Audition. When we get spikes like this, yeah, and this is an annoying thing that we often get in audio, uh, you just get everything else looks pretty good on the screen, but then there's a huge spike. So you go to normalize and that's normalized to the spike, but not to the rest of your audio. So how do we conquer that? Well, one way to do it is with a bit of cheeky EQ. Uh, so if we go into effects and we'll go for filter and then we will go for parametric EQ. Whoa, what was I doing earlier? Uh, default and, and then we're going to preview here. So we're, we're focusing on, on the spike. Careful of the spike. Uh, there it is right there. See it? And I want to, uh, I only really want one handle here. So I'm going to switch the rest off. So you see now I've got one handle here that I can do this with, Whee. and I can take EQ up and down as I wish. Um, and what I'm gonna do to find that naughty frequency is I'm gonna drag this down at the 4K like that, take it off, see what happens. See the spike went down, but so did the audio. So what I'm gonna do is change the Q width up so we get a bit more notchy, see, like that. So now we're, we're getting sort of smaller ranges of EQ rather than a broad mid range or a broad high end. Now I'm just gonna scan up a bit like this, scan around, and at some point I'm going to hopefully hit a frequency where that spike is causing a problem. Now I'm starting to see the frequency. Do you see how the spike is going down? Here, around the 800 to 1K mark. Just gonna move it down a bit more, see how much I can get away with here. No, now it's going back up. So we're about there. So about 903 hertz, up a bit more, up a bit more. Okay. So let's just, um, let's play about with that a bit more and see what we can do with this to make it uh, disappear. <laughs> Whenever you will invite me on, that's your show and you're very precious about it. So we can actually reduce that by going in and just taking that spike there and taking a little bit of EQ off it. Uh, apply like that. So now I've I've basically killed the spike using EQ on that very tiny portion there. Sometimes if you have a larger waveform where you have that going on everywhere, uh, you can do it with multiple segments like that, and then do favorites, normalize again, and we'll get a better normalization on that audio. And looking in the multi-track now, those volumes seem to be matching up uh, a heck of a lot better. But there's one final process that I like to do, and that's that one and that one. Oh, I should actually normalize my intro too, just for the sake of completeness. Because oh no, I hard limit it. Don't hard limit. I'm uh, normalizing at this stage, and then I'm going to show you how that mixes all together in a moment. Um, so I'll get into the mixing together of it, putting a few more effects on to pump up the audio, uh, and then we'll get into uh, creating uh, a wonderful intro for your podcast and inserting it into this template, which actually has space here. Uh, you see the markers for a 30 second intro. But first, your comments are extremely important to me. As you can see, there they are over there. And I'd just like to say, if you would like to continue this conversation that we have outside of the stream, go to mrc.fm slash community right now. And you can, uh, you can sign up to join the community. And I would really, really, really love to have you there. mrc.fm slash community. We're chatting about things that happen on the show. We're just chatting about, um, well, let me show you. We're we're chatting about uh, all kinds of things like the uh, the software you use, where to get good quality music beds from, shortcut keys for Adobe Audition, best microphone for YouTube, uh, are focus right boxes any good for the PC, Soundcraft's analog output to audio interface, uh, learning good microphone technique. All of this is happening at mrc.fm slash community. So if you have not joined, join now. I highly recommend it. And post in there right now with any questions you have, because uh, I don't always get to all the comments, but I do always try and get uh, to all of the, the chat that's going on in the community. So 
what have we got here? Uh, right. Hmm. Liam does things. Says, hey, Mike, nice to see you. Albert Hathazi, hey, good to see you, Albert, in uh, in Canada, watching on the uh, the Facebook live stream right now. Uh, Hitchum, keep up the good work. Respect from Tunisia. Uh, by the way, Albert, if you're watching, uh, Albert is a fantastically talented podcaster from Canada. And I've been uh, I've been going through a bit of your back catalogue recently on From the Hip. And uh, there was a song that you did that particularly caught my attention recently. My name is Gunta. <laughs> and uh, I, I love Albert's stuff. It's very, very funny. It always makes me smile and laugh when I listen to his show. And uh, that song you did in particular uh, was really, really good. So, uh, yeah, good stuff. Keep it up. Uh, Dave is in there. Your channel is my go-to when we started our podcast. Incredibly helpful. Never sounded better. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate that. Ryan's got an H6N Zoom and a couple of dynamic mics uh, going to be doing the podcast on the move. That's such a good idea. Hmm. Podcasters do rave about the uh, the Zoom products. I have a Roland R-05, but you can't plug in the XLRs like you can with a Zoom. Uh, what else have we got? Isabella has a lovely voice, Leonardo says. Obeyed. Uh, thanks, Mike. Last week I started my own radio channel and watched most of your videos. Awesome. Yeah, David, I agree. Spikes are annoying. Uh, Juan says, saludos desde España. Uh, hola. Hey, good to see you. Really nice to have you on the stream. Uh, Ivan as well from Colombia. Good information. Uh, curse you work. I want to watch this. Great job, Mike. I'll be back keep up oh curse your work okay i see you going back to work okay cool nice to nice to have you there do keep the comments coming in always like to mention them as much as i can during this live show now get, let's hop straight back into the multi-track and we're going to do some fun stuff with this so now we've got all our ducks in a row by normalizing select all of this right click and match clip loudness Minus 16 luffs is what we're aiming for in podcasting, and you'll see some numbers. 2.16, 4.25, 2.59 dB. Uh, this is the increasing gain it's applied to each track to make sure that every track sounds the same. So now if we blend this all together and create my podcast, so this is my intro. Much, much more. So that was my intro, and then I'm going to crossfade into the bit where I started talking to my guest. Oh, don't want to do that, because then it will go out of sync with my Skype. So cool tip here is to group these tracks together. So holding down control, select the host and the interview track, right click and group those babies together. And they go pink, that's nice. Uh, and then now whenever I move this around, they are gonna move in sync. No worries about getting out of sync there now. Move this over like this and they crossfade. Much, much more. And now a very special guest on this week's podcast. She has not been on the show live for such a long time, but I'm so pleased to welcome now. So there we are with the intro. To the show. <laughs> you really know how to butter me up. Now, for some reason, we got so we got some funky uh, noise coming in there. I wonder whether the speech volume leveler is affecting that. Let's uh, let's switch that off for the moment on the host. And now, a much more. And now, a very special guest on this week's podcast. It sounds like some hiss from my board, so I need to look into that. To the show. <laughs> you. And let's switch that off on this track here. To the show. You really know how to butter me up. OK, that sounds good. Now, with Isabella on her track right now, you can hear she's not sounding so good in terms of quality because it's a Skype call. Um, but we can do our best with a bit of EQ to uh, sort of level her up and make her sound a little bit better. First, I am going to introduce that single band compressor, which is it's a little bit simpler than the dynamics processing because you've got a threshold here you've got a ratio you've got an attack and release let's go back to default here uh, so if i take the threshold down maybe to just minus 10 here and then pump the ratio up to about seven to one uh, attack and release we can leave you really know how to butter me up do you Mike? so she's speaking at minus four there isabella russell and i might actually want to add some single band compressor to my channel just so i get a similar sound so let's do that uh, again default uh, we'll go down for let's go down for minus 15 because i can see my audio is a bit more dynamic whereas skype kind of it does a little bit of audio compression already so you can see how compressed that voice is again we're going up seven to one attack and release will leave the same is isabella russell isabella russell welcome to the show probably the ratio a bit high there is isabella russell isabella russell welcome to the show 
Sounding good. Oh, I've just uh, caught a glimpse of Caddo saying, stick it through Essentials. Yes, absolutely. This is a brilliant new feature in Adobe Audition CC. Uh, Essential sound, while I'm trying to do all this myself manually, what I could do is get that audio producer in my back pocket over here. Now, if I, um, how can I do this without disrupting the chat? Uh, let's get rid of uh, this and let's put that over here like that. So you can kind of see, oh, hang on, actually, what I'm going to do is move that over like that so you can still see the chat while I show you Essential Sound, which is over here. So Essential Sound uh, for new podcasters is a great way of getting your audio to sound good without having to know the effects rack inside out and choose your effect and, and wonder what you should be working with. Uh, so in that case, what I can do is I can say, OK, this is dialogue here. Uh, now, because I have grouped these tracks together, it's put dialogue and it's applying the same settings to both tracks. So if I don't want that, temporarily, I can switch off the grouping here, ungroup the clips like that, and I'll go back to this one here. So this is dialogue, and now I can go for a preset, like uh, I find balanced male voice is a good starting point. We'll have a listen to how it sounds. As you can see here, uh, all in one, it's applying loudness auto match to minus 23 luffs. If I wanted, I think I could go in and change that to be uh, minus 16, but we'll keep it like that for the moment. Repair, I could actually use it to reduce a bit of noise as well, so that little hiss I have at the start. And now a very special guest on this week. And actually it has done it. And now a very special guest. It's completely dis disintegrated my, my hiss I had, so a bit of reduced noise definitely helps, so I've ticked that on. Uh, clarity here, we've got dynamics processing, so the more I turn this up, the louder my voice will get, and the more compressed it will get. And now a very special guest on this week's podcast. She has not been on the show live. For I'm not going to put too much of a dynamics uh, compression on that right now. EQ, subtle boost for male, but again, you can change this up and down, or you can go for something different, so uh, vocal presence. And now a very special... Uh, podcast voice, there you go. And now a very special guest on this week's podcast. She has not been on the show live for such a long time, but I'm so pleased to... Let's switch off the single band compressor for a moment. And now a very special guest on this week's podcast. She Sounding pretty good. Um, but what I'm interested in here is what's happening over here. And I can get that information by clicking clip effects. And you can see some adaptive noise reduction has been applied. You can see a little bit of dynamic, just a tiny tweak of dynamics. But if you want to say, see a good way to set up dynamics processing, that is it. The more compression you put on and processing, the more it kind of levels out like that. Graphic EQ, it's got a 10 band EQ, some here in the bass range and in the mid to high range going on. Uh, we've got a de -esser in the mix as well and a vocal enhancer. Again, I'll run Isabella through Essential Sound and I'll probably give it a different, um, a different sound. So again, we could probably reduce some uh, noise here. You really know how to butter me up, do you, Mark? You really know... And taking it off. You really know how to butter... So, I mean, that's sounding okay. A bit of de here because it's a little s -y. You really know how to butter me up. And then clarity, uh, we'll take the dynamics. I don't think we need much in uh, terms of dynamics. Reanalyze here will analyze your audio and change all of these features based on the audio you're working with. So it really is good. And then for EQ, uh, I might want to... Um, hmm. You really... Let's have a look at uh, what we've got here on the telephone. You really know how to butter me up, do you, Mark? <laughs> so you can do all that kind of stuff or uh, or just go for the podcast voice again. You really know how to butter me up. An enhanced speech for a female. You really know how to butter me up, do you, Mark? <laughs> so there are plenty of ways that you can process your podcast audio here in the multi-track. Uh, now, just before we get into the, the final section where I'll show you adding some uh, loudness rules to it, uh, hard limiting all of your audio, uh, I would like to get into uh, an app I actually use uh, on my mixing desk. Uh, so if I bring that back into the screen, and this is one I recommend, let's get out of Skype for the moment, and into uh, an app called iJingle Webcaster. Uh, and this is a fantastic uh, app uh, designed by... Uh, Camel Web Creations, who are based in uh, uh, in Romania, but the uh, the CEO, I believe, is originally from the Netherlands, a huge jingle fan. Uh, so he created this kind of touchscreen for jingles. And um, 
iJingle is somewhere uh, where if you're doing a live podcast, you can drop in jingles and play them through your mixing desk. Um, and to do that, if I was to tap one of these uh, buttons here, I get options here. You can probably just see that uh, to add a track either from my music library or my iCloud Drive. So that's fantastic. If I have my iCloud Drive open, I can actually go ahead and drop in whatever audio I want and pick it up over here on the iPad. So I'll do that. And actually earlier on, I did drop in uh, a jingle, a music radio creative jingle. So if I just add that to the hotkey now, it's just thinking about it for a second. And then with iJingle, when you're podcasting, you can actually drop in your uh, your jingles and, and sound effects and anything you want to play in your show live. So now it's done that and it's actually popped it up on the uh, the uh, top top uh, one. Let me see whether I can actually move this around and show you uh, what it looks like. So we've got here, this is iJingle in action and this is my this is my hockey that I just loaded with a jingle here. So if I was to have the fader up for the iPad here, uh, and I was to start playing this jingle, it would instantaneously start and I could start doing the intro to my podcast. Say I'm recording live. Oh, need to sort my levels out on that though, don't I? Let's, uh, let's turn that right down and start that again. So uh, let's try this. Okay, here we go. So hello, welcome to the show. This is Music Radio Creative Live, where we cover all kinds of things about audio. It's such an exciting show, and I'm showing off iJingle at the moment, right now, live, using my Soundcraft Signature 12 MTK. I can play any jingle I want, whenever I want, at the touch of a button on my iPad, and possibly Android, I believe, as well, according to Caddo. Yeah, so there you go. It is available for iOS and Android. Easy to just fire off those jingles and any sound effects you want right there. Uh, now, I did say, before I get back to the comments and before I do the last section, by the way, on creating a, a quick podcast intro and then uh, hard limiting and getting your podcast all mixed down, I would like to show you a brief idea on mix minusing. If you buy a mixing desk for your podcast, I cannot stress how important it is to make sure it has these uh, lovely pots here. So uh, just to take you through the mixing desk I've got, up at the top here, these are red pots, and sorry for you if you're listening on the audio replay, uh, you won't see, you'll just hear. I've got a red pot at the top, which is called gain, and that turns the volume up and down on the channel in question. Down here I've got EQ pots, so high frequency, mid-range and low range, uh, plus a white pot here, which is the sweeping one for the mid-range, so I can sweep through from uh, 140 hertz to 3 kilohertz, so I can really fine-tune a mid-range frequency if I want, uh, either take it in or take it, put it on or take it off. But these AUX channels here, AUX 1 and AUX 2, will feed to a separate uh, output. So say I had that uh, uh, extra computer and I wanted to send what's called a mix minus to it, uh, the simplest way to do this would be to, uh, and let me just uh, take the webcam off so I can show you, behind this lovely iPad here, I have all my inputs going in there to the mixing desk. Hang on, let's make it the right way around for you. Uh, so you can see uh, right there, there are two uh, kind of TRS inputs, AUX1 and AUX2. Now, if I was to take that jack, plug it in there, and put it to a mini 3.5 millimeter jack, and plug it into that imaginary uh, computer uh, that I have dedicated for Skype. Um, oh, this uh, webcam is now falling down. There we go. Uh, if I was to plug it into that computer, into its input, uh, and some computers, most of them have them. I know new Macs don't, so that might be an issue. Uh, I could then choose using AUX1, if it was plugged into AUX1, what I want to send to that computer. So I might say I want to send my Heil microphone, so turn it up on AUX1, and I want to send the output of my jingles. So say my jingles were coming out of that channel, turn AUX1 up. They will only ever hear the output of those two channels. If they are on this channel, I would have the AUX turned down because I don't want to feed back their audio to them. Otherwise, they're going to hear themselves talking back in their ears as they're talking. So that's the idea of a mix minus. You can send only what you need to the channel in question, to that, that dedicated Skype computer. Uh, and also over here on this particular model that I really recommend, by the way, um, you have AUX1 pre and post. 
right there, AUX1 pre and post. So with it out, it's sending everything pre the faders. So anything I basically turn on these, these pots here go out. But if I go post like that, now it's going to pay attention to what I'm doing with the faders. So if you prefer to control faders going to your AUX channels, you can, you can choose to do uh, a post mix, which is really rather cool. Right, into podcast intros and finalizing your podcast in the final section. Gosh, I feel like I'm cramming a lot into this session. Hopefully you're enjoying it. Get your comments in now. I would love to shout you out. Uh, and I'm just going to use iJingle to have a quick, quick breather before I read your comments out. Uh, and then I will hop into your comments. I'm just going to play a jingle from iJingle now. Okie dokie. So we've had Daft Cat Brewing. One of the advantages of being a freelancer and a remote worker is that you do what you want when you want. Yeah, that's right. As long as you get the work done, though. <laughs> that's the only slight issue with that, isn't it? Um, and uh, we've had Caddo in there talking about the podcast voice setting and essential sound. Very, very good setting to use. Uh, what sampling rate is Skype coming in at? I believe it's 44.1. I think it's 44.1 kilohertz. Uh, brilliant one-touch action there on the uh, the wonderful iJingle, which you can grab from mrc.fm slash iJingle. Uh, <laughs> thanks, God. I'm using uh, headphones, says David. And, um, yeah, uh, Caddo, uh, yes, absolutely, iJingle does work with MP3 and WAV. For instance, that jingle I just played there uh, was a WAV file, uh, so hopefully you found that of use to you. Uh, over on Facebook Live, we've got Paul Orr in the house as well, who's also a member of our community. Lloyd Ford, you want this episode? I think he's tagging someone in, in Facebook Live. So thank you so much for that, Paul. Really appreciate that. Uh, and also Leonardo says, today's live is helping me a lot. So really kind of you to say that. Um, and uh, Connor has said, haven't been watching the live streams lately. I've been sick with the flu last week. Uh, not 100% yet, but close enough and watching. So Connor, really appreciate you being there and, uh, and dedicating some of your time uh, to be in on this session. Uh, lots of people joining in with the community and posting uh, new topics, as you can see here at our community over at mrc.fm slash community. Um, but another thing I'd like to tell you about before the end of the show today is my Mike Russell VIP channel, um, which is a, a paid uh, channel on YouTube. But you can subscribe for a, I believe it's a 14 day free trial if you haven't subscribed before. And I've just started creating daily content now for the VIP channel. So every single day, Monday to Friday, you'll get a brand new Mike's Minute in Adobe Audition. Uh, and every day, hopefully a new tip and a new idea that you can apply to your audio production. As you can see here, some of the uh, latest uh, videos to be uploaded to Mike Russell VIP. Uh, so it's a premium subscription channel uh, with some content especially for you. And by subscribing to that channel, you are helping to support the show and support the streams. So I really do appreciate that. I know Cano uh, is a subscriber, as are 172 others of you, uh, but it would definitely help the show. And as I've started producing new content for the show, uh, this coming Monday, which is, what date is it on Monday? Let's have a look in my, my calendar here. This coming Monday, the 24th of July, I will be increasing the price to subscribe to Mike Russell VIP. So if you're enjoying what you see on the live streams and you like the stuff on my YouTube channel, highly recommend you subscribe before this coming Monday when the price will go up. That's mrc.fm slash VIP and uh, get in before the price increase and enjoy daily content all about audio production and Adobe Audition. It's kind of about uh, turning your production skills up to 11. Right, finishing up this episode, let's uh, switch off uh, that picture of my lovely mixing desk over there, and we will get into uh, a wonderful uh, podcast intro, which I did have a, a podcast intro session created here already, and I wanted to get a music bed to play with. Well, that sounds like Daft Punk, doesn't it? Nice. Oh, yeah. 
Actually, it's called Chic, and I know Daft Punk take their inspiration from Chic. Freak Out. My Forbidden Lover. He's the greatest dancer. And no, I'm not going to sing. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll use this one. Let's stick that in onto my music track, uh, preferably. This is so cool. I want this as my podcast intro. And I can have it because it's in our library. <laughs> I might cut this later. So I like that kind of rising tone there where we got a bit of EQ automation going from bass uh, uh, into the, the full range there. So let's just... Uh, Let's punch something into this track using an input. Uh, I'm going to switch away and I'm going to switch over my audio hardware to be from Soundcraft to Scarlet. Yes, I do want to do that. That's okay. And then input will be a mono Scarlet input one as it's just the, uh, the voice I'm recording. <coughs> Clear your throat. Have some lemon water. That is just lemon in there, by the way. Just, just lemon. Good for the voice. It's a... Uh, Eight minutes to three in the UK. I don't drink coffee or tea or anything with caffeine after that, after 2 p.m. So uh, let's just punch out the music for a second. Actually, I can listen on pre-fade. That's another cool thing. Let me just show you on the mixing desk. Uh, this this particular model has pre-fade, PFL, which stands for pre-fade listen. And if I click that, I will be able to hear. Hang on, I can't hear myself. So I'm pre-fading. Now I'm pre-fading my microphone and my audio. If I was to have this fader up, it would also record uh, the uh, audio uh, of my music in, which I don't want. So I'm listening on pre-fade, and I'll be able to talk and riff with the rhythm of this song. Let's go. Let's let it uh, carry on for a little bit. Hang on. Bring it into the mix so you can hear it. This is the podcast to help you improve your sound. The Music Radio Creative Live Podcast with your host, Mike Russell. And now, here he is, Mike Russell. Okay, so there you go. Uh, let me take that off pre-fade so I can hear everything like normal and play that back to you. This is the podcast to help you improve your sound. Now, why is the audio sounding so good? I'm using my my own presets in Adobe Audition. Uh, if you're interested in them, mrc.fm slash presets to uh, grab the download of everything I use to make audio sound good. This is the podcast to help you improve your sound. Okay, so improve your sound. Now I'm going to whack on some quick effects, and because I'm using my presets, I can do this really quickly for you. Uh, so we'll do something like that. Uh, improve your sound. Improve. Oh, we need the improve there. Okay. Improve your sound. Improve bit too quick there on the fire. Your sound. No. Your sound. Move your sound. There we go. Your sound. Move your sound. Move your sound. Now I'm going to widen that out a little bit further. So let's go into our effects rack over here. Track effects, and I want to add in uh, something like a scientific filter here, and we'll do drop off below 250. Your sound. Your sound. Your sound. And I really want that to be quite wide as well. So let's see if we can. The stereo field is wide. Uh, so but I think I can do better than that. Let's go to mastering and we'll add in the widener as well. Your sound. Your sound. Your sound. A little bit of exciter there. Let's take that down. The music already. Okay. This to help you improve your sound. your sound. I'm going to take the exciter off because this to help you improve your sound. Your sound. Take that exciter right off, actually, and take that down, and then we'll fade that down. Move your sound. Probably a bit too much. Let's tweak it up at the album. Move your sound. And then we're coming in with this. The Music Radio Creative Live Podcast. Okay, let's put a funky effect on that. A bit of flanging. The Music Radio Creative Live Podcast. And then this. Mike Russell. And now, here he is, Mike Russell. And then, uh, by the way, a uh, big no-no, never, never, never voice your own podcast intro. Always get a professional voiceover artist to do it. I'm doing this for example purposes only, so I can create something on the fly. My podcast with your host, Mike Russell. I'm just going to EQ that up on my EQ track here. My podcast with your host, Mike Russell. And now, here he is... Mike Russell. 
Okay, cool. And then you've got the rest of your music track going on and on and on for ages. Um, so what I could actually do after this... And now, here he is, Mike Russell. Let's find beat one there. Mike Russell. And now, here he is, Mike Russell. There we go. So what I'm going to do is cut there and use that segment a little bit later. Lock in time, move that down onto actually move that up to here. Russell. Now I've got side chaining also included in my presets. So what I can quickly do is if I want the voice to cut across the music, I can quickly switch on side chaining on this channel, like so. And this is the podcast to help you improve your sound. The Music Radio Creative Live Podcast with your host, Mike Russell. Actually, I don't like that. It's a bit too pumpy, that side chaining. So I'm going to do something else instead. And I'm going to add on an effect from Special, Vocal Enhancer. And I'll do this for the music there. So what that does, Vocal Enhancer for music, it takes out a lot of the central frequencies. So then I can go over to my voice effects bus here. This will add the effect to every single voice channel. And I will go into Special Vocal Enhancer for a male right there. Click it. Now we should cut across the music much better. This is the podcast to help you improve your sound. The Music Radio Creative Live Podcast with your host, Mike Russell. And now, here he is, Mike Russell. Oh, yeah, one thing I didn't do, which is obligatory when you're doing cheesy intros like this, uh, add a stereo track. We need to pop in a little bit of reverb there. So let's go for full reverb here. Yep, CPU intensive effect. Uh, we'll go for the Great Hall. The Great Hall. And let's listen. Takes time to render. Three, two, one, go. Now. Is and we need a bit more of that dry and a bit less of the reverberation. Let's try again. Play. Is so let's actually move that up and double track it. Is Mike Russell. Okay, brilliant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select everything apart from that extra bit of the track there. I'm going to mix down the uh, selected clips. So that's the intro bit of my podcast intro. And I'm going to do one th final thing with Adobe Remix when I get it in there. There we go. That's the first bit. Uh, and then, oh, actually what I wanted to do here is place a marker where I made that cut, which was there. So let's mix that down again. Selected clips, here we go. And have a look at what we've got going on. Selected clips, mixing down with a marker. Because then, in a moment, yep, there's my marker on the first bit. So that's intro, intro one. And then over here, we'll take just that bit and we'll mix down just selected clips again. So two halves of the intro, because I want to use Adobe Remix on this, and I've got one minute to do it. Uh, so let's now go back to my original podcast that I created over here and drag in intro one here, which fits in perfectly. And then we have got uh, the other mix down bit here. Align that with a marker so we get a nice match. Here we go. Okay, so that matches all up nicely. Then I'm going to drag in the audio. Whoops, let's drag that all in. And we will pop Mike it in. Russell. Hello, welcome to the podcast episode. Now we just want to do that and crossfade that a little bit. Mike Russell. Hello, welcome to the podcast episode. So there, that's all mixing nicely. Adobe Remix, enable Remix, turn a bed that goes on for two minutes into a bed that goes on to just the length of my intro analyzes the clip, drag the jagged edges like so, and drag it in a little bit more, and you have just shortened your podcast intro to end before the guest comes on. Your host, Mike Russell. And now, here he is, Mike Russell. Hello, welcome to the podcast episode. I'm Mike Russell, and it's lovely to have you here with us on the show today. We're going to be covering all kinds of things like how to make podcast intros and much, much more. And now a very special... And there you go. That's all we have time for today. Back again with a live stream. Make sure to subscribe to get the daily updates of all these live streams that are here every day, Monday to Friday from 2pm UK time at youtube.com slash music radio creative.